Hello, awesome students. Today I'm going to show you how to cite films in your essay using APA format. Now there are three items that we're going to go over. We're going to go over how to create an entry for your references page. We're going to talk about parenthetical citations, and we're also going to talk about narrative citations. Now, of course, before you do any of that, you need to gather information. And these are the four things that you need. You need the title of the film. It can also be a documentary, of course. You need the director's name. You need when the film was published, specifically the year. And then you need the studio name or the distributor's name. Um, you may have more than one, but I'll show you what to do with that. Now, when you gather all this information, this is the format that it's going to follow. This is what the entry is going to look like on your references page. If you don't know how to create a references page or specifically a hanging indent, which is right here on the left hand side using Google Docs, I have some links in the description that will help you out. Now, for today's model, we're going to use Titanic. So where would you get all this information for the film, for whatever film that you're using? In this case here, I've decided to use Wikipedia. If you notice on the right hand side, there's lots of information here for Wikipedia. Up on the top of this bar, you have the director's name. In this case, it's James Cameron. If you ju jump down about midway through, midway point on this bar, you can see the distributor's name. In this case, there's two of them, Paramount as well as 20th Century Fox. And then right below that, you have the release date or dates. In this case here, it's pretty simple. It's just 1997. So we got all our information. And when we gather the information, here is the format or so the template that we want to use. And we plug it in. It should look just like this. Now, let me talk about a couple of things here that you might not notice. And I want to make sure that I show them. That way, when you create your entry, you don't make a mistake. If you take a look after the name James Cameron with the director's name, you still have in parentheses the word director to let the reader know that this is director's name. You only have the year, like I said, in this case, it's 1997. The title of the film is in italics. Notice also the word film in brackets is still there. Remember, I just said that in this case, we have a couple of studios names. You have the first studio name and then in semi, we have semicolons to divide it from or separate it rather from the second studio name. Let's say you had three studio names, you would just have another semicolon and then third one there. Notice also each portion of this entry, it's ended with a period. So keep those things in mind. Now, you have that, you have your entry. What do you need to do for your parenthetical citation? Well, first you need the following information. All this, of course, is taken from the previous entry with the exception of the timestamp. Now, the quote that we're gonna take from the film is the famous line, I'm king of the world. So that's the quote that we have here. So that's the timestamp that we're going to use. In this case here, when you create your parenthetical citation, this is the framework that you're gonna have here, director comma year comma timestamp. Once again, the year, we only care about literally the year. We don't care about the other portions of the date. So in our case, like I said, it's the king of the world quote. It is of course by James Cameron still, published still in 1997. The timestamp, meaning when that quote started, when that line of dialogue started, I'm king of the world, it started at the 32 minute mark and the 31 second mark. So that's what we put down here. So when we take all that information and we put it into this model that we have here, it should look just like this. Notice too, there are commas that separate each of the portions of this parenthetical citation. So once you have that done, where do you put it? Well, it goes at the end of the sentence, but it goes before the period. So if this is our sentence, the most noble moment in Titanic is when Jack Dawson yelled, I'm king of the world. Notice that it takes place right here, the parenthetical citation. At the end of the sentence, notice also that it takes place before the period. The period comes right afterwards. What about a narrative citation? What do you need for that? Well, a narrative citation, you need literally the same information that you need for the parenthetical citation. The only difference is, is that you're going to use it a little differently, of course. First of all, here's the information. It's literally the same information as before, as I mentioned. Cameron, 1997, we're still using King of the World quote at 3231. But instead of putting the citation at the end, what you're going to do, you're going to take all of this information and you're going to embed it into the prose itself. Here's the example. At the 3231 second mark, of James Cameron's 1997 Titanic, Jack Dawson yelled, I'm king of the world. So let's stop for a second and let's just check to see how all this information is embedded into the prose. Obviously we have the 3231 right here. We have Cameron's name here. And then we have the year 1997, which should come after the director's name. Wherever the director's name is, 
that date needs to come after it. Notice also it's in parentheses. Now, if we put a parenthetical citation at the end here, that would be redundant because it would literally be the same information that we've embedded into our pros. And that is it. As always, don't forget to like and to subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Bye now.